Today, we'll be discussing the differences between carbonated and soft beverages from a food science perspective. While both types of beverages are widely consumed around the world, they differ in their chemical composition, production process, and sensory characteristics. Let's start with carbonated beverages, which are also known as fizzy drinks or soda. Carbonated beverages are typically made by dissolving carbon dioxide gas under high pressure into a liquid, such as water or a flavored syrup. The carbon dioxide gas reacts with water to form carbonic acid, which gives the drink its signature tangy and effervescent taste. In addition to carbon dioxide and water, carbonated beverages can contain various additives, such as high fructose corn syrup, sugar, caffeine, artificial colors and flavors, and preservatives. From a food science perspective, carbonated beverages are interesting because they involve a unique process of carbonation. The carbonation process not only creates the bubbles that make the drink fizzy, but it also affects the taste and mouthfeel of the drink. For example, carbonation can enhance the perceived sweetness of the drink by lowering the pH, which can make the drink taste more acidic. Additionally, the carbonation process can create a tingling sensation on the tongue, which is caused by the release of carbon dioxide gas in the mouth. Now let's move on to soft beverages, which are non-alcoholic drinks that are not carbonated. Soft beverages can include a wide range of drinks, such as juices, teas, coffee-based drinks, sports drinks, and milk-based drinks. Soft beverages can be sweetened with natural or artificial sweeteners, and can contain natural or artificial flavors, colors, and other additives. From a food science perspective, soft beverages are interesting because they involve a different set of chemical reactions and sensory characteristics compared to carbonated beverages. For example, Many soft beverages contain natural sugars or carbohydrates, which can provide a different type of sweetness compared to the added sugars found in carbonated beverages. Additionally, soft beverages can have a thicker and creamier mouthfeel due to the presence of fats or proteins, which can add complexity to the sensory experience. In terms of production, soft beverages typically require less processing compared to carbonated beverages. For example, Juices can be simply extracted from fruits and pasteurized, while tea or coffee-based drinks can be brewed and flavored with natural or artificial flavors. The lack of carbonation also means that soft beverages have a longer shelf life and can be stored without the need for pressurized containers. In conclusion, both carbonated and soft beverages offer unique sensory experiences and have different production processes and chemical compositions. As food scientists, it's important to understand the differences between these two types of beverages and how they can affect consumer preferences and health outcomes. By studying the science behind these beverages, we can develop new products and processes that meet consumer demand while ensuring safety and quality. Thank you for listening, and I hope you found this lecture informative.